Hello, this is H.S. John looking at making money on the internet. Today's episode is about working online as a freelance at home graphic designer. Because again, this is related to computers and technology. And it's one of those things that anyone can do with some skill and the opportunity to develop that skill. And what I'm looking at specifically today is mostly design contests. Now, what is a design contest? A design contest is where someone needs something designed, say a website, uh, such as a t-shirt, or perhaps a design to paint on the side of their company vehicles, something of that nature. Um, generally, they'll take these rather small jobs and go to uh, their personal designer, but pretend like this is a company that doesn't have a graphics department. They're kind of stuck. They either go out and they find somebody in their community or um, on the internet and they're searching around and they find the design contest sites. And that's what these design contest sites are. They provide an opportunity for people who need quality graphic design and places for people who are graphics designers to get together and to work together uh, in a contest-like setting. Now, not all of these are contests. Some of them actually provide opportunities for hourly labor based on a contract basis, um, but all of them do provide some level of contest. So let's get right into the websites. Um, first of all, I'd like to talk about designcontest.com. Now, this website uh, provides an opportunity for people to come and obviously, because of their name, from create a contest in order to get feedback and opportunities to uh, review the different works provided by the artists who are there. Uh, it, it's As you can see, some of these uh, contracts are pretty significant and some of them not so much. All right, now I've provided in the links below several links um, associated with different websites that look at the viability of designcontest.com, whether or not you can trust the site. And from what I can tell, it seems to be a pretty trustworthy site. Most uh, sites are going to give it an A plus or an excellent uh, review. So that's pretty good. And one of those sites is actually the Better Business Bureau. Uh, so I find that uh, to be a reputable site. So something to consider. Uh, as for payment, um, some of my international listeners uh, will think, well, what about international crowd? They do provide payment and you need to look up specifics because some of them uh, have small surcharges uh, attached to them. But Payoneer, Direct Bank Transfer, PayPal, those three, uh, I believe, are free uh, with no handling charge. Now, PayPal outside the U.S., I think there's a small 2% transaction fee and then something called Skrill S-K-R-I-L-L -L. they also provide payment through that service as well as Western Union but again you need to look it up in the individual sites and uh, see what the fee schedule is all right so the next site I want to look at is designcrowd.com with designcrowd.com Again, we have another site that does pretty much the same thing. And you'll see here, if I go and look at them, they have different contests and different amounts of payments. And they also provide uh, a different means of payment, including PayPal, which is the one that I, uh, I remember distinctly seeing, uh, since many international uh, people will be able to use PayPal. Um, and they are, again, uh, I'll put some links below, a very trusted group uh, something between 9.5 out of 10 excellent uh, to oh so they're they're highly rated so there's that now the last one that I'm going to look at specifically is a problematic website uh, according to the reviews freelance.com now at freelance you'll uh, look down below and see the reviews not very well reviewed but in one of the sites that I was reading about it, it says that the best way to avoid any real problems 
is be sure to contact the company directly and to go through their investigation process before you begin to work as a freelancer. Um, this will help uh, pr mitigate any problems that may develop, may develop over time with issues of uh, payment and completion of work. Um, but it is something to be aware of that it's not very well thought of uh, out there on the internet. But again, they also provide payment through PayPal, Skrill, Money Bookers, Payoneer, debit card. So um, there are several ways to get your payment, again, from freelancer.com. Now, another uh, item that I would look to, like to look at, and this is going to probably only ap uh, apply to United States citizens, or perhaps just those working in the United States. Um, if you go out and you look for work at home designer jobs, you can find some. Uh, for instance, Indeed.com at the time of making this video had a job available for a junior graphic designer. Uh, they were doing an order uh, processing specialist and it's a, it's a entry level position and they advertise it as being uh, great for students, interns and stay at home moms who want to learn about advertising industry. Uh, another opportunity here and I looked them up uh, through Indeed as well as through another website and you look down below and th there are a well thought of company so it does appear to be a legitimate job but there are opportunities out there for full-time jobs that allow you to work at home as a graphics artist so that's another opportunity uh, to make money on the internet now I'm also going to put uh, some other links down below to two other sites that I've heard about but I'm not going to review uh, zilliondesigns.com and 99designs.com are also websites that you, um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, you can inspect upon your own. So there's the opportunity out there to uh, make some money as a graphic designer over the internet. Uh, it might not be something you'd be interested in. And then again, it might be. One of the things I'd like to point out is this doesn't really require a huge amount of initial capital. Um, because, well, if you have a computer and internet access, uh, you can get things like, for instance, Inkscape. Inkscape is a freely developed and freely available program that allows you to create uh, the type of art that you will need in order to be successful in these industries. It is not as well developed or as um, deeply invested in tools and abilities as say something professional like Illustrator Pro or something of that nature, but it's free and there's a lot of support out there if you look around uh, to learn how to use it and use it effectively. And uh, when you get into this, if you're interested, you will have to find out how to go around and tell the different formats. Uh, for instance, vector versus raster. What's the difference and which one can you use and which one can you not? So there are some things to learn, uh, but I will leave that up to you. So this is Ageless John with another video at looking at making money on the internet. I hope you've learned something and uh, I'll see you around.